A British team believes it just solved a mystery that has endured since ancient Egyptian times. What killed King Tut? Researchers are taking a fresh look at forensic evidence left behind more than 3,000 years ago. Elizabeth Palmer is in London. Liz, good morning. Good morning. Well, King Tut was by far uh, from being one of the most powerful of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs, but he's certainly the most celebrated. And now, three millennia after he died, people are still fascinated by the circumstances surrounding his death. You can tell from Tutankhamun's death mask that he was young, very young. In fact, he was only 19 when he died. After the Egyptologist Howard Carter discovered his tomb and its fabulous contents back in 1922, Tutankhamun's mummy has been taken out of its wrappings and examined, inspected, x-rayed, and even scraped for DNA. Now, armed with all that data and supported by modern science, Chris Naunton and his colleagues decided to go back and take a fresh look at Carter's original notes, which he'd never followed up. He was absolutely meticulous in observing um, tiny details, but as I say, the, just the quantity of the material defeated him. For example, Carter says, near the flesh of the king, the wrappings were nothing more than charred powder. Could it be the so could they actually have been burned? So Naunton put together an experiment to show that yes, that under the right conditions, the linseed oil used in the linen wrappings could have caught okay. fire. Well, it's produced Ooh. a fair bit of smoke. We were able to show in the lab um, that if the conditions are right, it's only a few hours before you get to about three or 400 degrees at cra crazy temperatures. And the most basic question, how did the teenage king die in the first place? Scientists have speculated for decades that it was malaria that killed him, or a head wound, or a leg infection. Certainly his skeleton shows he had broken bones up the left-hand side of his body, and that, to Naunton, suggested a new explanation, a chariot accident. The team that reconstructs accidents for the British court system modeled what might have happened. Did he topple out as he was driving or get run over? And they concluded that actually he was hit while kneeling for some reason in the way of the chariot. I, I think, strangely enough, that um, he seems to have had an, a fairly undignified end. Um, if, if indeed he did suffer this accident. And that if, of course, is going to trigger yet another wave of speculation and investigation. Tutankhamun's mysteries are enjoying a much longer life than the poor old king himself did. Charlie, Nora? Incredible forensics. Elizabeth, oh, yeah. thank you.